The class list property in JavaScript allows you to easily manage the list of classes on an HTML element, okay? So right here, I've got a div with an ID of box and a class of rounded. So now let's use class list to add a new class to this list here. We're gonna say box.classlist.add. We're gonna be adding the class of transparent, okay? I'll save this, go back in the browser, and we have transparent right there. Now you can also see that uh, it's gonna add a space between rounded and transparent. So class list is gonna manage all of that spacing and formatting for you. Now you've also got the ability to remove classes. Let's top down here and we're gonna say class list dot remove. Let's remove the rounded class. I'll save this, go back in the browser once again. And now we can see, of course, rounded uh, is gone. You can also toggle. So if I say box dot class list dot toggle, let's toggle the transparent class. I'll save this, go back in the browser. What happens now is transparent is gone because it was there previously. If I was to say uh, toggle transparent again, I'll just copy this, go back in the browser here. I'll paste this in, go back in the element section. Now you can see transparent is back. So if you keep calling it, it's gonna toggle transparent on and off. Also worth mentioning here that you can provide a second argument. You can say, if one equals one or whatever condition you want inside here, it's gonna force this to be added. So uh, let's add the active class and say, okay, active if this is true. If that's the case, I'll save this back in the browser and active is definitely gonna be there because of course that condition is true. Now you can also replace classes. Let's do uh, class list dot replace. Let's replace transparent with filled instead. So we just say uh, transparent as the first argument, filled as the second argument, save this back in the browser. Now, of course, filled is there as opposed to transparent. And lastly, you can also check if a class exists on an element. Let's say console.log here. We're gonna log out if box.classlist.contains and check for the field class. I'll save this back in here. In the console, we get true, of course, because yes, field is on the class list. Now, one thing to mention is that you can provide multiple arguments. You can say, for example, let's add uh, transparent and let's just do decode as an example. I'll save this and now, of course, we get decode added as well as the transparent. So some of these have infinite argument lists. And that is all for this video. If this one helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.